So last episode, we featured my buddy Aaron Childs and his prized 1967 Volkswagen Bug. A friend of mine has had it for 15 years. It was his daughter's car that he got for her at a graduation. She kind of just left it at his house. She wasn't really interested in it after she drove it. And I've had my eye on that car for about five years. Uh, my friend went out and got a, a Volkswagen bus and he needed the room. So then he called me up and said, it's yours if you want. And it was green, ugly, and rusted. Aaron worked for over two years restoring that butt ugly green Volkswagen into a custom classic. And now he wants Renee to paint some old school blue flames to help create the hot rod look. He's leaving the entire design and creation of the flames in Renee's hands. And so now you know with all the blood, sweat, and tears that Aaron's put into this build over these last years, you know his expectations are gonna be super high. All right, y'all, if you didn't know, this is the second episode of the Volkswagen Flame Job. And if you missed the first one, which was really awesome, by the way, because this guy's in it the whole entire time, well, we're gonna put a link for you right around here so that you can watch that episode after you're done with this one, because it is completely awesome. So we're gonna paint this baby white with flames right here, bro! Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Yeah! We showed you step by step on how we did it. So we don't have time for that right now, and we're just gonna give you some highlights. When we got the car, it was already primed. So we disassembled the car, sanded it down, we took all the fenders, the trunk and the hood, and we put them in the booth, and we painted them separately with three coats of white. Then we applied a spray mask on the side of the car and painted it silver. Then we taped over the silver by hand so that we can have an outline, painted it blue. While it was still blue, we took an airbrush and we went around the outside of the, of the flames with a darker blue so we can add some highlight to it. Peeled everything off, and so once we had the car with the flames on there, I put a drop shadow with an airbrush freehand, so just to give it some pop, and then I clear coated, and guess what? This car is going straight to heaven because I buffed the hell out of it. I hope Aaron likes it, man, because this car is going to be beautiful. So how many bugs have you owned? I've owned six or seven Volkswagens total, but this is my fourth Volkswagen bug. Was this one like the most tricked out? No, my, uh, my second one was my most outrageous one. What was unique about that car is it had a target top, which was like a Porsche. They cut the roof out and made it. It wasn't a sunroof. It actually went from door to door. And that was one of a kind. There wasn't a lot back in the, the 90s when I made that. Funny thing is, is the Volkswagen actually ties into the relationship I have with Dale. So actually I put the neon lights underneath Dale's truck back when we were younger. I, that's how I met him which also got me into the sign business. Uh, I was putting neon underneath cars. The person I was buying my neon from hired me and I started making neon for signs. And then I've been in the sign business ever since then out of high school. How difficult was it to put neon underneath the car? It was difficult. We had to put it inside of Lexan tubes to protect it from rocks and stuff. But now they've all switched over to LEDs. So there's not even neon under cars anymore. We're ready to put the fenders on, to, you know, clean everything, clean the door jams and put the fenders on. And then the client can come to see it. So what do you think he's going to think? I really think he's going to love it. I think this is exactly what he wanted when he first talked to me about it. It's going to be great. It's done, baby. It's the moment of truth. It's done. All right, Aaron, man, here we go. Are you ready to see it? I I'm think ready. we're ready to, I'm ready. ready to unveil it to you, man. We're all excited. Now, we know this is your baby, so we've had a, a lot of time. Renee's had a lot of pressure on him to get this thing exactly perfect, but you know, it's what Renee loves, so. I know for Renee did it, it's gonna be done right. You know it, man, and he loves doing this kind of stuff, so it's been fun for him, as well as, you know, a lot of pressure, because, you know, we gotta make sure our boy is happy. You ready? <laughs> I'm ready. All right, man, here we go. Holy cow. Oh. <laughs> Look at Holy that cow. car. Man, it got Renee over here standing here looking like a valet. Look yeah. at it, man. Come on. That thing looks way different than when you dropped it off, huh? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. 
All right, so now when you brought it here, it was already had the body work done, the primer was on it, it was in real good condition. You guys had worked on it already, For right? For two years we've been working on it. Man, it's crazy. So here we are, we get it in the primer, we take it, and Renee and I start talking about how we want to do it, and we decided the best way to do it was to take this entire car apart, right? So we took the fenders off, we took the hood, we took the deck lid off. Everything came off that car, we painted everything separate. We, we took it all apart, painted it, we put the clear coat on it, wet sanded it, and buffed it all parts individually, and then put it all back together again. Yep. Every, every part of this car was uh, custom made. I know you sent me a teaser photo with the doors off, and I almost lost my mind, because the suicide doors are so tough to line up, and when I saw you took them off, I was like, this guy, <laughs> this guy is <laughs> going all out, right? yeah. all out. Now, what so. do you mean suicide doors? Show us that. So what we, what we did is we took the hinges, we got rid of the hinges that are normally up front. Yeah. We got rid of the door handle. Mm. And then we, there used to be a chrome piece also that went through the door that we got rid of. But now the door is open in the opposite direction. So they call that suicide door. Look at that. That's so awesome. Man, that looks good, huh? Why is it called a suicide door? I don't know the actual origin of it, but from what I understand is that if you're riding down the road and you have to bail out of the car, now they open the opposite direction, so you'll actually get ran over by the car. <laughs> I think that's the Ma origin. Makes sense, because I've <laughs> wanted to bail out of cars multiple times when I'm driving down the road, right? Mostly when Christy's driving. Oh, I'm not going to touch that one. <laughs> How difficult is it to put the suicide doors on? Uh, it's pretty difficult. I would say if I had an option to do it again, I, I probably wouldn't do it again. It was, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty labor intensive. Why did you want the suicide doors? Uh, that was just the look that I liked the, the hot rod look with the flames and then the old school suicide doors to lower stance, to lower it down, just to kind of look like a hot rod. To get away from the, the basic car that you see as a, a normal Volkswagen. Okay, so why is the 67 special? So the 67 is uh, a car that is sought after because it's, it's called a one year model. Uh, they took some of the old products and they were trying to make the car newer. So there's a lot of parts on here that were just made for the 67. So when you go to buy like a door handle, the gas tank, certain things are only 67. But most VWs, you can go buy a, a fender and they'll fit, um. or a bumper, they'll all fit pretty much within a pretty big range. But the 67 was a one year only car. But I've also removed everything that makes this thing a special 67. So no door handles, there's <laughs> no, uh, bumpers there's no so everything that made this a 67 is gone so probably people are going to be upset yeah so it's more, it's more of a unique 67 now. it's my 67 yeah, yeah. there you go yeah. yeah tell us about the design what, what made you go with the white and the blue well actually my first volkswagen i had this was actually the vision i had for that car mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. back then in the day oh wow so um, the vision's been like 30 years yeah, going. I, I wanted the white car with the blue flames uh, obviously i came to him and said that's all i wanted and let him come up with the rest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He could put the flames wherever he wanted, nice. as long as it was white and blue, because I already had the, the color picked out. And your engine, it kind of matches, right? You got the my same en color on it. My engine is the exact opposite of the car. Okay. So all the engine parts are this color blue, and then Renee painted Man. white flames instead of the blue flames on the motor. I gotcha. So when you open up the motor, it's just gonna be the opposite of what the car nice, is. Nice, nice. I mean, it's already done. It's all chromed out, ready to go. Just chromed out, ready to go. Put it in there. And that shadow really makes a difference, doesn't it? It, it's it really a world pops of difference. it off a of there, you know? Difference. It's definitely nothing you could do after the fact. You gotta do it before you put your clear coat on there. But to add that just kind of gives it that little, just a little pop off of the car. And, and the other thing that you probably don't even realize, but I know Renee does, the details. So he took the flames and went inside of the door jams too. Let so me see. it's not that he just painted, but he yeah, they followed go in. around the little edge yeah. there, right? Yeah, just like that a little extra detail yeah, little really detail. adds a little bit more to it, right? <laughs> Makes it completely custom. Okay, y'all, tell me, tell me the, what's behind this. What I did was I shaved the dashboard. I got rid of the glove box, I got rid of the radio, and I got rid of all the switches. I want it to be smooth, just like the outside of the car. Yep. So I'm going to the one gauge. Nice. And then I'm not having a, a radio in it. I'm going to go all Bluetooth sound system so it'll all work off of my phone. I'm getting rid of this old style uh, steering mm -hmm, wheel and I'm mm -hmm. putting a blue and white nice. uh, leather steering wheel on there. And then the whole interior is going to be all gray, wow. a light gray color. And then you got your running boards, headlights, all your windows, your glass. Now you have all these pieces? Yeah, oh. I have um, all the glass. I actually pulled out the 
two-piece windows and made it one piece because uh, Volkswagen normally has a little window oh, yeah, here yeah, little, that little you can vent. open up. Right. So I pulled that out and Got it's going to be like a, a new modern car with power okay. windows that has uh, yep, yep. a one-piece window. Tell me about this mat that you have in here. Okay, that's a sound deadening mat that they sell. They used it a lot back in the 80s and 90s for stereo systems and stuff. Sure. But a lot of cars are doing it now for road noise. So when you're inside the vehicle, it'll be really quiet. You won't hear all the road noise, the tires and all that. More like a modern car. Now. Correct, more yeah. like a modern car. Very cool. So now this is kind of different of our typical projects, right? So when a vehicle comes in here, you know, typically we take it completely apart, whether to wrap it or to paint it or whatever we're doing. And then when we get done with it, we put it all back together. So this is completely different because we don't have to do that work, which is great for us. But at the same time, it's kind of bittersweet because we now are seeing it, but it's only halfway there, you know? So we're not seeing the full completed project. So we can't wait to see when you finish it up. What are you gonna do now? Or how long is it gonna take you now to get everything else back together? You have everything you need? or you still got to buy parts. I have everything I need. I've already purchased all the parts. <laughs> it's crazy. But I'll give you a timeline. Okay. So it's going to be either two months or another year. Okay. And what's going <laughs> to what's gonna depend on that? Your wife? I, <laughs> <laughs> I originally thought this was going to be a quick paint job two years ago. Yeah. I even said to the wife, I'm not even taking the motor out. I'm just going to paint it, make it nice. Yeah. And then I I just went crazy with it. So you did, yeah. I, I don't know how long it's going to take. It could, like I said, I could have it back together in two months. The reason I say that too is because another idea that I wanted to do to this um, is put fiber optics in the flames. So fiber optic is a, a lighting like a... <laughs> you nuts. Fiber optic is a lighting that goes through a filament and the tip lights. Yep. So my original idea from when I was younger, when I had this idea, was to drill about 4,000 holes into the flames, pull the fiber optics through it, glue it, cut it close to the body, and then buff it smooth so you can't feel that. But at night, the flames will light up as I drive down the road. I haven't fully committed to that idea. But, <laughs> but if, if I do... That would be insane. It would be insane. But literally, you have to drill holes for each individual light strand to go through pull there. Pull it through, glue it, Man, cut it smooth. That's amazing. That would be crazy, but that is a tremendous amount of work. If I go that route, I'll yeah. make sure that you get video of it. <laughs> we'll have, have an episode deal. on it. I love it, Renee. You got anything to add? <laughs> How, you you satisfied with the project yes. so far? Yeah, I like. I love it. I, I love the flames and the rims. How they go together. I just love how everything just came together. It's great. I love the flame and the dash is just a nice little touch. But you didn't do this car by yourself, did you? No. Because you got this guy over here. So, I don't so I'll get over here, man. Yeah. Yeah. How you doing? What's up, man? Appreciate it, man. <laughs> yeah, awesome thank you. job. And so I did a lot of stuff that um, was beyond me. I'm kind of a one-trick pony with just paint only. Okay. And he was uh, in charge of taking the car. He put a base coat on there and he cleared everything after um, it was all done. So. Are we pretty excited to see it come in instead of just painting signs all the time? Yeah, yeah. I love cars. He knows it. He yeah. knows that I love cars. Nice. So, so painting uh, painting this beautiful car is it was just. I want to see it complete, fully done. Did you know that he's thinking about drilling like four thousand holes in the paint? What? <laughs> Only? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> Don't encourage him. <laughs> you go like this. If you touch my paint job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like, man, don't touch my paint job. Really thrilled to be able to do projects like this in our new building with guys that we've been doing work with over the years and real excited about doing this custom work. We're not painting a Ford Fiesta. That's not our interest. We're not fixing body work on a fender. We want to do custom paint, custom cars that guys love their cars and they're putting all this time and energy into it and for us to be a part of it man it really really makes it special hope you enjoyed it so how do you feel about the car ah uh, it's beautiful it's uh way past what i expected it's, it's, it, looks, it looks amazing you even think about these planes for like two years actually no i originally wanted the car to be red and then i went to blue i was gonna have the whole car be blue and then at the very end, I went to white and blue, which was actually the original idea that I had back when I was younger on my first car. Because I also had the idea with the fiber optics in the flames back then when I was younger also. So if I can actually do that, if, I, if that comes about, it'll be an idea that I've had for over 30 years. No, no, don't do it, Eric, please. Are you serious about doing that? Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> you don't mess with perfection. You don't mess with art. Come on, people. It's gonna be crazy. The lighting has never been done to what I'm about to do to this car.